Looking Glass Theater is celebrating its 35th season with the Chicago holiday classic, The Steadfast Tin Soldier. Joining us now with the details are actors Adeoye and Anthony Irons. Thank you both so much for being with us. Yes. Thank Thanks for having us. us. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your roles at Looking Glass. Uh, at Looking Glass, I'm a teaching artist and a frequently cast actor. And I'm an ensemble member of, of Looking Glass for, for two years. That is unbelievable. It's, it, this is a theater that seems to operate very differently than other theaters <laughs> yes. in Chicago. <laughs> is that what draws people to you guys? Yeah, it's, I, it's what drew me to, to the company. They're, they're known for, for spectacle, yes. um, uh, musicality, very physical performances. The first time I auditioned for Looking Glass, I read the play and I thought, <laughs> You can't do this on stage. <laughs> yeah. This is a film. This has special effects, in, but there's circus elements, there's movement. Um, we, for this particular production, we have live musicians. So yeah. it's, it's not your standard theater. And puppetry, too. Puppetry, puppetry yes. too. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's so creative. It's very difficult to describe. But I think it's so much fun for all ages, like from little kids, I mean, to, you know, kids that are very young at heart, right? Mm -hmm. Of the all ages. The kids inside of all of us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and take a look. This is some of the puppetry that happens there. It's so cool. Can you describe a little bit of the Tin Soldier, like the story behind it? Yes, it's in, it's um, adapted from a Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale. Which can be a little dark, often. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the soldier is brave and steadfast no matter what. And he faces all these challenges. Um, he falls in love with a ballerina. Uh, the Tin Soldier has one leg. That's what makes him different. Mm -hmm. um, and he falls in love with the ballerina. She's standing on one leg, so he thinks, oh, my soulmate. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Okay, so you play the Tin Soldier. I do. And Anthony, is that you? We see you there. Uh, that's, that's the that's rat. Me. That's yes. you? Oh, the rat. The rat, the rat. The rat is John rat. Gregorio, okay. another actor in the cast. Yeah, the, the, the soldier meets a myriad of cad, uh, characters along the way. That's one character. I play uh, a, a character called the Goblin. Mm -hmm. I also play a rapscallion, kind of a mischievous kid. And I play uh, the father, who is the, the father of the, of the boy that gets the soldier. As and I play a reindeer. Is it, uh, there's got to be some challenges to playing <laughs> yeah. multiple characters in one show. Changing. Changing <laughs> and all the physicality to it. That's got to be exhausting. It's nonstop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it, it, it's a fun train ride, though. Yeah, I imagine that keeps your audiences certainly engaged throughout the whole performance. Yeah. Yes. I mean, here we're seeing dance, but there's a lot of uh, physicality. I mean, there's gymnastics. Sometimes there's trapeze in your performances. There's a little bit of silk work. A, yeah, a lot um, of circus arts. What type makes of this production unique is that it's nonverbal. It's a pantomime. Mm. So there's no dialogue or talking. It's it's like a silent film on stage. Yeah. Ah, that's fascinating. And you would think that that would be difficult to keep an audience riveted when there's no one actually speaking dialogue, but the whole time you're just glued because there's just always something visually happening. And it almost makes the story easier to, to follow and, and appreciate because there's, there are no words to get in, in, in the way. And like you say, it, it speaks to people of all ages, all cultures, there, there, there are no barriers. Okay, so I gotta ask you guys, you're both actors by trade. Yes. What have you learned since doing these performances? Because I can't imagine you went into this uh, with circus background, with dance background, with all those things, or did you? No, we picked up a lot along the way. <laughs> like yeah, the, the, so you the, were just the, actors, not just actors. Well, <laughs> we've, we've both done a lot of physical work. We've been working with Looking Glass for a while. Um, Looking Glass's sister company is the Actors Gymnasium, mm -hmm. and the circus choreographer, Sylvia Hernandez, came and did the rigging training with us. Um, um, we, um, pardon me. I was going to say, what's the hardest thing that you've had to learn? Yeah. The hardest thing to learn in this play, g hitting all the marks because oh, okay. all the actions are underscored to the live music. Yeah. And yeah. the blocking and yes. all. Yeah. And sometimes these are death defying stunts yeah. too. <laughs> I mean, I've seen productions where you're falling off of a ladder yes. and you have to hit the mark of a hole in the yes. stage. And that if was you looking don't, at Alice. Oh, yes. And if you don't, I would think some sort of injuries would yes. happen. Yeah. <laughs> but Lots get, of practice. We get trained and we rehearse well to make sure none of that happens and every trick gets executed flawlessly. That's amazing. So, what do you guys have coming yeah. up for the new. So, you're in your 35th season. What's going on for 36? After. Uh, after 
step at Ten, Ten Soldier. We have, we're excited to, to bring out uh, Villette uh, by Charlotte Bronte, brand new world premiere. And after that, we are doing uh, Lucy and Charlie's Honeymoon. honeymoon. Oh, uh, fun, that sounds fun. Uh, mischievous matrimonial mayhem of an <laughs> And a lot of alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> and Anthony, what is the craziest stunt you've ever done? For, for uh, one of the shows. Craziest stunt I've ever done. Uh, you know what? I, I, I think popping out of the, the box for, <laughs> for Ten Soldier yeah, yeah. takes the cake. Yeah. And a dare yay? Uh, the rising up in the silks at the, at the end. Yeah. Yes. Wow. I mean, okay. and the... Well, the play is going on, play, it's not a play, it's a music. I hate it's, it's a play. It is yeah. a play, it's okay, yeah. technically a play. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's going on through January 8th. You gotta go check it out uh, at the Looking Glass Theater Company there on Michigan Avenue. And check out their webpage for the new performances they just discussed coming up for season 36. Unbelievable. Yeah. There's yeah. actually season 35, the three plays in the season. In the whole so Steadfast and Soldier Villette and Charlie and uh, Lucy and Charlie. Lucy and Charlie, okay, Thank fantastic. You, Thank you, Thank you. I really appreciate it.